the topic that we are going to see now is the reflection coefficient the reflection coefficient is defined as the ratio of the reflected voltage to the incident voltage at the receiving end of the transmission line it is given by zr minus z0 by zr plus z0 we know from the general solution equation the equation for voltage is given by er into zr plus z0 by 2zr into e power root of zys plus zr minus z0 by zr plus z0 into e power minus root of zy into s from the above equation we can write the component of the incident wave as er into zr plus z0 divided by 2zr and the component of the reflected wave can be written as er into zr plus z0 divided by 2zr and multiplying with this component we'll be getting it to be zr minus z0 divided by zr plus z0 so these two terms will get cancelled and we will get the reflected wave component to be er into zr minus z0 divided by 2zr by definition the reflection coefficient is defined as the ratio of the reflected voltage to the incident voltage which is nothing but e2 divided by e1 on dividing the two values we will be getting e2 is er into zr minus z0 divided by 2zr whole divided by e1 is er into zr plus z0 divided by 2zr so we can cancel out er and er 2zr and zr and therefore the ratio of the reflected voltage to the incident voltage is given by zr minus z0 by zr plus z0 this reflection coefficient is represented by the term k so we can write k is equal to zr minus z0 divided by zr plus z0 now let us assume various cases under that in case 1 let us assume the line is properly matched or zr is equal to z0 so when zr is equal to z0 let us substitute this to be z0 minus z0 by z0 plus z0 so this becomes 0 by 2 z0 which is 0 so therefore when the lines are properly matched reflection is zero let us assume the next case when zr is zero or we can say it is short circuited when zr becomes zero we will be having k is equal to 0 minus z0 divided by 0 plus z0 so this becomes minus z0 by z0 or minus 1 So minus one can be written as one with a phase angle of eighty degree. So the magnitude is one, but the phase value is one eighty. So magnitude of one represents maximum reflection. So when the line is short circuited, what we can observe is there will be maximum reflection with a phase angle of one eighty degree. Case three. when zr is equal to infinity when impedance is infinity that is under open circuit condition so when zr is equal to infinity substitute in the value of k so this will become we cannot directly substitute so we will try to take zr commonly outside and then substitute so i am taking zr commonly outside from the numerator so this becomes 1 minus z0 by zr similarly in the denominator take zr commonly outside so it becomes 1 plus z0 by zr so we will cancel the zr and zr now substitute zr to be infinity so therefore we will be having k is equal to 1 minus z0 by infinity divided by 1 plus z0 by infinity so anything by infinity becomes zero anything by infinity becomes zero so it is 1 by 1 it is angle of 1 with a, without any phase so it is just one that we are getting which means phase difference is zero once again value of k represents one as maximum reflection so when the line is open circuited and short circuited we can actually observe that there is maximum reflection thus to conclude the value of the reflection coefficient k varies from 0 to 1 where 0 represents no reflection and 1 represents maximum reflection 
and also the phase angle of the reflection coefficient varies from 0 degree to 180 degree. Thank you.